Hey Ninja Riders, I'm Shanta Grimes. I am the owner of Ninja Riders, the, no joke, the best riding community on the planet. And I'm really glad you're here on my channel, which is brand new, so thank you for being an early adapter. Um, today I am going to walk you through one of our Ninja Rider tools, which is called the Rider Binder. And it is the exact tool I use to plan my own novels. Um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I uh, write middle grade and YA books. My books have been published by Penguin and Macmillan. So this is literally the tool that I use to make sure that I finish what I start, that I write books that are publishable, um, which goes for traditional publishing or self-publishing. I'm moving into self-publishing in 2021, so I'm still using my writer binder to uh, write my novels. Um, so I'm very excited to introduce you to it. Here it comes. Today I'm going to talk you through, walk you through my writer binder. Basically, this is like the heart of my writing business. So I'm going to show you how I have mine put together and you can download your own writer binder from our Etsy shop, which we will link to in the show notes. So first the binder, this is a Kiki K A5 six ring binder. I got it off of Facebook. They're pretty expensive new from the store. I bought it for like 20 bucks from someone on. See, but I love it because it's yellow and that's my creativity color. Okay, so I just have some washi tape. So I made this little cassette tape, you know, cause I'm an eighties girl. Clip that I just have in there. These are book like darts that I can put on if I want to um, clip a page. Uh, I really like, um, bookmarks so these are I clipped them so I can just slide them in and out they're just laminated paper that I printed out and this is from a album cover but I can move them around I just don't need them right this second um, this is my motto I that's laminated but I just wrote on it with a dry erase marker I thought it was cute uh, these are quotes uh, if you buy the writer binder you get quotes printed. Um, I did that because I do this in mine and I love it so much. These are just quotes about writing and they really inspire me. Uh, these are some vellum, like clear, see that they're clear, um, post-its that I just stuck on this. So this is my current month. This is a, um, it's another bookmarking thing that I, I can move around. You can write on these with a dry erase. So these are my big six goals here. And this is, these are actually the dockets, the weekly dockets that are free in the Teachable site for the Ninja Writers Club. So we'll link to that in the show notes as well. I use a daily, big daily planner, so I don't use the daily dockets every day, but I do use the weekly ones every week. So I have the next steps for my big six goals. And then this is the writer framework. So every day I try to write 10 minutes, read 10 minutes, make a list of 10 ideas, talk to someone who I don't live with, get some exercise and do a nightly review. And then this is my writing plan for the week. And um, this is what we're planning on having for dinner for the week because um, feeding people is hard. Um, I printed these out backwards, so <laughs> that's real life. I had to reprint, re-punch the other side. I didn't want to waste them though, so I just did that. Oh man, I've had these dividers for so many years that I have no idea where they came from. Um, probably Office Max. <laughs> Okay, so that's my current month. And then I just have a page. These are papers that came with this um, Kiki K binder. So I just have one page for the next, I think I have it all the way through July. So the next several months so that um, I can write down if I have something, uh, a deadline or something ahead, I can write it on that month because I only plan one month at a time. Um, this is the section that's like the heart of this binder. It's the, my current work in progress. And I love that it says lovely ideas. 
So my current work in progress is a romance novel called Mary Jolie. That's my working title because I never, I suck at titles. And I just write down the protagonist in the setting and a little elevator pitch. Um, just notes, uh, basic notes here. Then I have section for characters. So these are all the characters that I know of for sure that will be there. Um, I have another uh, thing here because this is where I am. I, I'm working on planning this story still. So this is where I am, where I need to come back to. So um, this is a space, there's several pages here for um, brainstorming characters in this particular novel. Um, yeah, several, several, several. Okay. And then I have, um, setting. So the, there's a space here for notes. This are lists of settings I know will be in this book. And then, uh, spaces for, um, uh, brainstorming with some, um, questions for free writing for brainstorming, um, the settings in this book. Um, several of those too. Goodness. Um, then I have story. So here is where I will um, take story notes and then write a, um, just a really short, like, I don't know how many lines that is, but very short synopsis of the story. And then I do my five key plot points. And lastly, I do my situation. So, um, this is kind of a little bit more in depth into what's going on. So a, a slightly longer synopsis type situation. So that's the current work in progress. And this is the idea section. Okay, I have some, these are uh, laminated, so dry erase if I just wanna take notes. These are the books I have in planning um, stage right now. Um, I actually have pages that say brewing and editing, but I'm using them, you'll see in a minute, as um, dividers, because I needed them. Uh, I should have used these. Um, so I have, a, I'm planning a writer archetype book and poet number two. I'm brewing on a dystopian a romance novel and a middle grade called The Odds. I'm writing Marie Jolie, and I'm editing uh, a YA novel called Find Mist and one called 312. Um, this is just a, a dashboard um, divider that I use to mark off um, characters, settings, and situations. So here is a list of my favorite, favorite stories that always inspire everything that I do. Uh, potential characters. If you've taken H2DSI, you will find this familiar. We will link to that in the show notes as well. This is a list of names I like. Um, because I struggle with names, uh, potential, more potential characters, potential settings, uh, potential situations. Um, yep. And an idea log. So this is my idea log. The idea log is where I take a character, a setting and a situation from those lists that are back here. And I just put them together and uh, see what kind of story I can make out of them. So I have lots of space for uh, doing that. And uh, you can see I've done it a few times. Uh, I do it, sometimes this is my fun, I just do it because I like doing it. Um, and then these are my story sheets. So when something, this is kind of just brewing and I'm just, um, playing around with the idea of these stories. When I have an, a story that I think will, could become something, I do a story sheet. So I write down the working title and then the character setting a situation, an inspiration list, and then I ins analyze the inspiration list. This is 10 things, books, movies, people, ideas, it doesn't matter, just 10 things that inspire this story and then I analyze it. Um, I do five key plot points. I like using these uh, kind of thick flags so that I can move them around and not feel obligated until I'm ready. Um, and then I, uh, I don't know, I write it out here like a synopsis. And then I do notes for 30 scenes. 
Um, as you can see, this is what, how far I got on this one, three. <laughs> Um, and then when I'm done with that, or when, I, when I've gotten as far as I'm gonna get for now, I clip them so that it's easy to see which ones I have. So you can see I've done this on several different story ideas. Um, and then I have lots of space here for other, these are all um, blank ones. I can do these story sheet, um, I can do this story analysis on to see, like just develop stories, it's fun for me. And then this is just a section where I have paper and then these are notes that I've taken for other ideas and I have them back here. I have a section for books and nothing in it because I have a whole notebook for books and I haven't decided not to do it, anything in here for books yet, but I don't have anything in here now. My binder also got really full. And then this is just notes and these are blank pages. And then I have this last piece in here to keep the pages from rolling under. That, my friends, is my writer binder. Um, I keep, oh, I have this, <laughs> this, I've had this for so long that I feel it, like it's my lucky charm or something, and I can't make myself get rid of it. They, these are just glued on here. These are those ones I like for doing the five key plot points. And these are stickers I use in my Fred, um, which I don't keep my Fred in here. Um, I have in the past, but right now I'm using a different, um, like a calendar book for Fred that I'm really enjoying. So um, Fred's not in here right now, but um, there it is, guys. Thank you for hanging out and in checking out my writer binder. You download your own, or if you use one, let me know down in the comments.